were these people really being bribed and pressured unduly, do you think? Or is that just the cut and thrust of Westminster politics? You know, I think the first thing I would say about the Whip's office is that it is actually the kind of um, human uh, resources department, <laughs> the personnel department. It spends as much time telling the leadership what it can't do because of the sensitivities of members of parliament. It spends a lot of time saying you've got to be easy on such and such person who's got problems in his private life or his wife is not well and so on. Mm. And then they do a little bit of disciplining as well. But remember, lots of these members of parliament are extremely happy to take cash for their constituents. Mm. You know, they make huge local publicity by saying, I've got 20 million for this road scheme. I've got my, uh, my town centre is being refurbished by government money. So uh, do they not think that someone might come along at one point and say, but actually, if you don't support the government, maybe all these lovely schemes that you like to boast about that are going to help you to get re-elected next time, maybe you won't get them all because maybe they'll go to other people. I mean, you know, obviously that's part of politics. And I do think William Ragg is being extraordinarily naive. 